Hi guys, welcome to this week's plumberparts.co.uk video. My name's James. Today we're going to be having a look at something that's going to update the heating system and the radiator thermostatic valves in your home. Made by a company called Tado, we're going to be looking at fully automated smart radiator thermostats. We'll unbox and show you how to install the smart radiator thermostat and starter kit and along the way give you the added knowledge of how to install the wireless smart thermostat and wiring center if you want to update all of your controls. And at the end of this video I'll have a fully zoned heating system meaning that I can have one radiator on at a time. You'll be able to buy all the Tado products plus the tools I use to install them on our Amazon store and if we help you out in this video do consider clicking the thanks button. So before you do anything else, hit the subscribe button, make sure you click the notification as well, and let's get on with this week's Plumber Parts video. So the first thing you're gonna do when you're looking at maybe upgrading your heating system is thinking, well, how am I gonna do this? Where am I gonna start from? Now, if you're just looking to get your radiators themselves to be smart and you can turn them on and off from your phone and all the cool things that we're gonna have a look at later on in this video, then you could just use the Smart Radiator Thermostat Starter Kit. This will have uh, an internet bridge on your modem and also one of Tado's Smart Radiator Thermostats. After that, if you've got, say, 10 other radiators is in the house you would then buy nine of these on top because you've already got one of them in here and this with nine of these will get you up and running and working perfectly fine you can go further than that if you like and i'd recommend that most people do this if they're going to be upgrading their system so everything works within the single ecosystem of tado's app uh, and that would be to pop in the wireless smart thermostat. So that would be the thermostat that goes on your wall. But this will also control the hot water on and off your whole heating system. And also it'll have the bridge in there as well. And then if you have 10 radiators, you would then buy 10 of these on top because this is not included in this box. So before we move on and actually start installing these and getting them all set up, and you'll learn how to do the whole procedure in this video, why don't we unbox each one of these products and see what's inside. So if you want a full zone system with all the capabilities that Tado offer for controlling each radiator individually in the home, then I recommend we start with the wireless smart thermostat. This will replace your room thermostat that you've got on your wall, and also the programmer that you have in your airing cupboard or loft or next to your boiler. Once you've removed the manual and welcome pack, you'll see the wireless room thermostat on there with a the QR code that we're going to use later on, some small screws so we can put this on the wall, and then underneath we've got our wireless bridge that we'll use later on, popping into our router using an Ethernet cable and also a USB power that's supplied. If you don't have an empty USB port at the back, there is also a transformer in there as well. Then underneath that, we've got our wiring center and our wireless receiver. Later on, when I take my old programmer out, this is what I'm going to put in its place and underneath that we've got some helpful wire stickers and also some Wago clips as well to blank off any redundant wires that we might need to remove when taking out the old room thermostat. So if you want to keep your old programmer, you want to keep the way that you control your heating system with timers and things like that the same, that's fine. Tado have thought about that as well. If you just want to update the radiator valves and get your radiator valves so they're smart and they work with a separate Tado app, then we can do that just using the Smart Radiator Thermostat Starter Kit version 3 plus. Let's have a look inside. So, I think you guys are gonna guess what we've got here. We've got, yet again, our welcome guide and all the setup guides you can just very quickly follow. If you scan the QR code, you can then get the Tado app and all the installation guides are included in the app as well. So if you do happen to lose it or the dog eats it or you spill a cup of coffee on it, you're not gonna be left alone. You've still got it electronically here. And then we get to the bridge that you saw earlier on. Now we use the bridge now to just talk to the smart radiator thermostats. But you could, if you wanted to, in a future date, install the wireless center as well. It's completely up to you. Our Ethernet cable and also a USB power supply for that. We've also got the plugs as well, if there isn't a power supply on the back of the modem. But the thing you've all been waiting for, the thing you really wanna see is this itself. This is our little radiator smart thermostat from Tado. This is what's gonna make us save loads of money. This is what's gonna sense that a window's open and that perhaps you should think about turning that radiator off while that window's open. Oh yes, this does all of that, but we'll get to that in a minute. And the other thing that we've got in here that's really important to look at, and we'll get a real close up look at this, 
is how we can fix this to varying different types of thermostatic radiator valve. We've got loads of different types of adapter in here, so we'll have a look at those in a minute as well, so you can figure out how to install it. So you've seen there how we can connect these to the internet. I just want to show you what we get in one of these boxes. This is if you've got, you've got either this pack here or you've got this pack here and you now want to have say 10 radiators, which in the UK is kind of the standard amount of radiators that you're going to have. This is what you'd buy. Inside one of these boxes, you've got the, and they call it as well, an add-on for additional rooms. So inside here, you've got the smart radiator thermostat. You've got the adapters for all the different types of thermostatic radiator valve they might be replacing. And then you've got the instructions in there as well. If we have a closer look at the radiator thermostat, you'll see that we've got a small pairing button that we're gonna be using later on when we do the installation. But also, just under this little metal flap here, we've got two AA batteries that are very easy to replace. They should last about two years under standard operation. And that's it. So why don't we go to my house now and start getting all this installed. Right then everyone, so we've seen inside these boxes, we've seen what these products can do, we've seen the nitty gritty inside each one of them as well. Why don't we pop over to my house now and actually start installing these. I'll show you exactly how to install them, how they can get integrated with the app, how the app works, pretty much everything you should hopefully need to know to get started with the Tado smart radiator thermostat system. You'll need to do this next step, whether you're installing the wireless smart thermostat and the Tado radiator valves together, or just the Tado radiator valves on their own. Find your modem and make sure you've got a spare ethernet port at the back. Some modems have a USB power source at the back of them. If it does, plug the Tado internet bridge into that. If not, Tado also supply a UK and continental Europe power supply. Once you're all plugged in, hold down the pairing button until the pairing light starts to flash. At this point, if you're just installing the Tado radiator valves on their own, skip forward to installing the radiator valve section of this video. Remove the back plate from the wireless smart thermostat and take out the small battery tab that's got a little blue tag on it. Once you've done that, hold down the button on the front of the Tado wireless smart thermostat for three seconds and it will start binding with our internet bridge. Once it's successfully bound, you'll see the static links together just like that. Now I remove and isolate my old thermostat using the Wago clips provided, which is really handy of Tado to do, and screw on the back plate of the wireless smart thermostat to the wall, and then click the wireless smart thermostat onto the top, and that's it. Installation for this is complete. Right then, so there we go, that's now installed. So far, so good. Really, really simple, just following the instructions that we've got laid out on the table, doing everything step by step. But now I've got to go up into the loft and do a little bit of wiring. So why don't you come up with me now into my lovely glorious loft and we'll get the main wireless receiver from Tado installed up on the block. Here we go. Oh uh, yeah, the whole time I was doing this, I was being watched by Big G. He makes sure that everything is being done to his tabby specifications. Meow! As with all electrical works, if you're not happy doing it, make sure you get a qualified electrician to come in and do the work for you. So I've got a little word of advice that maybe will help you along if you're doing this sort of work. Um, when you're about to take any wires off, good thing to do is just grab your phone and get a snap of those wires. Just so you know what you're gonna be doing in the future if you're working on any of this sort of stuff, you've got a reference as to how it all was before you started doing that work. I personally find it's helpful to put the links from the live to the two commons in now before it's up on the wall. While I do that, also I'll install the Tado app on my phone and get all the registration side of things done. Another bit of advice as well, this should go quite a long way, is to get a set like this. This is a crimping set, so we've got everything in here that we need. We've got our crimping tool and then also a variety of different sizes of crimps. It will make your wiring game go from easy peasy lemon squeezage to absolutely amazing. So definitely do that. I've got these on our Amazon store as well. So you'll be able to go over there and find this set on there by clicking on the link below. But do that at the end of the video once we've got all this lot running. Ah, oh, if only all wiring work could be done so easily and so quickly. 
but as you can see it's a much better way of doing it you can see here as well that our little bottom screw might be quite difficult for us to get at because of the isolation switch below but it's actually a hex so I can do it up nice and easily once we've got the power back on I can then hold down the binding button and once that light goes solid and just starts to slowly flash that means we're nicely bound with our bridge downstairs. At this point I can then use the manual hot water on and heating on buttons to test to make sure that everything's working okay. But I didn't do that for long because believe me it's getting quite hot up in this loft. Right so I've done my test, the uh, hot water's on now. I did have the heating on for a few minutes but it's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's too hot up here to be uh, running the heating for ages. Uh, so everything's installed. We've now physically got our Tado product installed. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to add that to the app. What we need to do, open up the Tado app and sign in like we did earlier on. Now we click add device. We know that we've got a wireless receiver. What we'll now do is register our internet bridge. All we need to do is start registering, use our camera to scan the QR code on the internet bridge back down by the router, and then we can pop back up here and get this joined on as well. As you can see here, it's really easy to do. We just scan the QR code from within the app and click the register button on the side. Just follow the simple on-screen instructions. The room thermostat is already present within the app because we'd already bound it earlier on with the bridge. So it was back up straight away to the loft. Right, so you saw how quick and easy that was. It pretty much did it all on its own. <laughs> so currently we've got the hot water on and that's indicated by the little light next to the hot water dripping tap. And also I can see that our two port valve is open and our pump is on and yep, Hot water is getting up here. So look, let's turn that off. Just want to see how quickly that reacts. And there you go, that's all switched off. Took about 30 seconds to a minute for it to, uh, to register over here. So all good. Um, let's see how long it takes. I don't really want to turn the heating on, but I've now wound the heating up. Uh, it's probably going to take a few minutes to get through. Uh, and let's turn the hot water back on as well. And then we'll just have a look and see these two pop into life. And there we go. We're all on again. Lovely. Let's turn that off ASAP. <laughs> so then we've got our bridge in, we've got our room thermostat on, we've got our wireless receiver up in the airing cupboard or by our border or where the, the center of the heating system is controlled. Now we can install a smart radiator thermostat. Now remember what I said, you can if you want just install the bridge and then leave your old heating controls doing what they're doing and just change whatever radiator thermostats you like just by doing this, okay? So all you need to do is put the bridge in and then install as many of these as you like. I'm gonna show you how to install this on two different types of radiator valve today. So we've got this simple type just down next to me here, but also I'll be installing this on a Danfoss as well. So firstly, turn on the radiator valve and then remove the head. If you try and remove these when they're turned off, the pressure down the pin will be such that it'll be quite difficult for you to undo this thread here. Now get your box that you've got your new Tado valve in, open it up and you'll see like we saw earlier on, we've got our valve head in here and also our valve body adapters. Pop them to one side, pop the valve head out. What you wanna do is just open this here and if you've not downloaded the app already, open that and just scan that with your phone. So the next thing we can do once we've set all that up and we've done it already is open up the Tado app. We've got our home area here, we've got our settings and we've got more. What we want to do is go to settings, then click rooms and devices. You see I've already added a few downstairs already, but now I want to add another device. Now we know that we want to put in a smart radiator thermostat. We click on smart radiator thermostat and it says please register your Tado smart radiator thermostat. It's very easy to see what the QR code is. So I'll click start registering, find it on here, click register. I mean, this is so quick guys. Now it says remove the mounting bracket of the smart radiator thermostat. Then we pull this off like so. And then we pull off our pairing tag that we saw earlier. And now you'll see our little bee should light up and it says, hi, how cool is that? We'll click next, press the button for three seconds to start pairing. I'm gonna do that with the end of my little screwdriver and then we'll see on here, these lines start to dash. Once we've got these three lines going, it will pair automatically on its own. And there you go, it's in. Now it says your device has successfully connected to our server. So we click next, the device is now ready for mounting. Now we can say what orientation it is. 
Now it's going to be on here, so it's going to be a vertical mount. So we pop that in. I'm going to call it Master Bedroom. Or as the B-52s would call it, the Love Shack. Now we can go to installation instructions. Now this is a bit where you just want to take it a bit easy going through the app. Because if you click things too quickly, you might miss out on important links that will help you when it comes to installing this on other radiator valve body types. So you can go view instructions, check your valve type. How do I find out if my radiator valve is thermostatic? Well, we can click on here. And Tado really, really helpfully will take you through all of that information so you can find that out. But we're done there. We know, we know we're thermostatic because we've just taken one off. Remove the existing radiator valve head. We've done that already. And it will give you detailed instructions on how to do that on different heads. Let's just have a quick look. Look at that. How to do it. There's loads of different types. They've thought of all the different ones that we've got because there are so many out there. But we're done there. We now know how to do that. Now we can continue. Now it says screw the Tado mounting bracket onto the valve. And very importantly is a button here that says check which adapter you need to mount the smart radiator thermostat. Click on that, okay? But also you'll be able to get to this article within Tado's website. So if you do need to get extra mounts because you've got a really unusual type of radiator valve, you can buy them when you buy your Tado valves. So for instance, we want to put it on a Danfoss RA. We'll click on the installation instructions and then it will tell us exactly which one of these to pick, how to install it and get it all working. There's also a button here that says you can check what kind of radiator valves you have here, which might be very, very handy for you to have. I will leave links to these in the video description of this video. They'll even tell you how you can take pictures of your valve and send it to Tado so they can come back to you and say, we've already got those adapters in the pack you've bought, or you might need to think about getting these adapters when you do this job. Anyway, Screw the Tado mounting valve bracket onto the valve. So let's do that now. Now I know for a fact that we do not need a different kind of adapter for this valve. Take notice of the fact that we're making our top arrow face outwards because that's where the display will be easiest to see by the user. If we were going to mount this horizontally, obviously the top bit would be facing up like this. Now we pop this on, now hold the bottom like this, twist, and then we're on, that's it, it's done. Then we get device has been successfully mounted, continue, smart radiator thermostat is calibrating, this may take up to one minute, but your smart radiator thermostat has calibrated successfully, continue, and I would say that was very easy, so I'm going to say that. What could be improved? Hmm, so this is great that I love people want to say that, um, I want to say other Plumber Parts video could have a handsome chap in. Submit, there we go. So they're gonna get that over there now. Once we're in here, we can do things like add a child lock. We can also have a look at the battery. And the batteries on these last about two years. We can also, if we forget which one is which, we can click blink display. And you'll see it come up in here and say, hi. How cool is that? Important to note that we can still just turn this up to what we want nice and easy, but also that we can turn it down whenever we like and just use this as a normal thermostatic radiator valve if we want. Plus, I can now easily set up this particular radiator master bedroom like this. We've got it in here. I could turn it on if I like and I could actually watch this happen now down here. There we go and it's going all the way up. How cool is that? But I don't want it to go on. I'm going to turn it off. So we can change the schedule. I can click on this cog here. We've got a thing on here called early start. So say the heating system takes half an hour to get up to temperature. You can say, I want early start on, and then it will come on then and works really, really well. It makes sure that the system is up to temperature for say when the shop opens or when the pub opens. Yay. We've got Monday to Sunday times here. If we want to change any of those times, it's really simple to do. We can change the temperature. So we can say, I want it to be at 21 degrees and I want that to be at six in the morning, and then I want that to go off, I don't want it on all day. So I'm gonna say, all right, I want that to go off at eight in the morning, and then I click save. I can then add a time block because I want it to come on in the evening. Guys, the system for setting up the timer for hot water and heating, and also each individual radiator is very self-explanatory, and also the app has quite a lot of features that I'm not gonna go into here, but they're very easy to get your head around once you've got the app on your phone. 
Now here we've got a different type of valve, as you can see. If you didn't know what valve you had or you were unsure about the make of the valve or anything like that, you could take a photo of this and actually send it to Tado. But I'm going to show you very briefly how to do this. It's really, really simple. Uh, and when I get this all set up, I'm going to call this Master Bedroom Radiator Rear because it's at the back of the house. So firstly, I'm going to turn this radiator valve on because then, look, it's nice and loose now. Then I can pull this off and that's off. Now, because I've looked on the website, I know exactly which collar I'm going to use for this. And it's going to be this collar here. So this collar should slip all the way down to the bottom with a nice little click. There we go, just on there like so. Let me do that up nice and tight. Once the collar's on, I just follow the instructions exactly like we did with the earlier radiator valve and get it popped on like that. It's very, very easy, very simple for us to do. One thing I really love about these radiator valves is they've got that lovely little display on them as well. Really, really nice and snazzy, just seeing what's going on without you actually having to go up next to it to find out. I've done every radiator in my house now, which means that the app on my phone looks just like this. This means that I can have one individual radiator on in the house, and when I turn that one radiator on, it will signal to the boiler and to the pump that that radiator needs heat, and therefore that one radiator will get hot. There are a few considerations you should think about before installing a system like this on your home system. Number one is to make sure that you still have a bypass radiator. That is usually the towel rail in the bathroom. I've also, in the past, installed a bypass just after the pump directly back onto the return to the boiler, which is good practice. But also it's a good idea to have a fully modulating pump as well. So the pump speeds can motor up and down according to how many radiators are open and what the demand is. Overall, really, really impressed with this system. Perfect if you want close control over each radiator that's in the house. And also brilliant for larger properties with annexes and anywhere where you want to save money on your heating bills. Well done, Tado. So then guys, there you go. You now know how to install one of these amazing Tado Smart Radiator thermostats, but also the bridge, their main room thermostat, and also their wireless receiver as well. I hope I've given you an idea that it can fit on loads of different radiator body types as well, but it's up to you to make sure that it can fit on the ones that you have in your home. For instance, in this home here, I've actually got two different types of radiator valve here, so I had to make sure that it would fit, and thankfully, one of the radiator sets I didn't need the adapter for, and for the Danfoss ones, I did. But remember, you can take a photo of that and send it over to Tado so they can say, look, you need this adapter. We already supply it in the box, so you don't have to worry. Or you might have to get it from a third party, in which they're really helpful in showing you where to get them as well. So if you want to buy one of these fantastic Tado stats or more Tado stuff, you'll be able to find them on our Amazon store. Just click in the links below. If you've got any questions or comments, then please comment them below. Pretty sure I'll be there to help you out in the next comments video. And above all, the most important thing you can do is hit the subscribe button, of course. Hit the notification button as well so you know about every new plumber parts video that goes out and if you think we've helped you in today's video then why not click the thanks button and give us a couple of quid thanks ever so much for watching today's video guys we'll be back very soon with more plumbing information heating information and fun as well until then hold tight and i'll see you soon thanks for watching guys goodbye